Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel as you slowly sink into the existence known as Jar and Monopod. <sighs> Do I look underwhelmed? I feel underwhelmed. Um, it's a lot of beautiful snow on the ground today, so I wasn't able to get out, which I wanted to do to finish up buying stuff that I wanted to do. And now I'm supposed to start this DIY, which is painting. And I know what I want to do, but I'm disconnected with how I want to do it. So I thought I would sit down with you guys and talk about some of my process a little bit more. I know I've touched on this in the past, um, but I wanted to share with you a little bit. Um, first of all, I really appreciate everybody's wonderful comments that say I'm so inspiring and that where do I come up with this stuff and you have such great ideas. And I have to tell you, thank you first of all. Thank you, very humbled. Um, but I try to answer comments right away, those comments right away that say, if, if it wasn't my idea, I try to give credit to whoever's idea it was. Like I'll say, if I got this idea from Pinterest or if I got this, I was inspired by another vlogger or another blogger. Um, I'm not that I'm a blogger, but a person who blogs. Um, if I got it from a blogger or someone else, some other source, I try to always say, um, give credit where credit is due. So that part being said, um, Sometimes ideas just come to me. I, I, I'll see something that um, they'll sell in a store um, and I'll be like, oh, how can I make that at home? Um, perfect example is twine carrots, jute covered carrots. Um, jute covered carrots. I know that Dollar Tree sometimes sells orange jute. I know I have a little bit of it. I don't think I have enough to cover a carrot. But Last night, I went to TJ Maxx with Jim, and they had a box of seven jute-covered carrots for seven... No, six jute-covered carrots for seven ninety nine. Is that right? Because they were about a dollar a piece. So maybe, maybe there was eight... That's what it was. There's eight jute-covered carrots for, for seven ninety nine. So they were a dollar a carrot. And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, and then they had other ones that were different these were ones were like foam with jute covering and like jute wrapped around it and the other one they were sort of like you could tell they were kind of like wicker on the inside not wicker but like grape viney on the inside and then they were covered with jute but you could still see like the grape viney on the inside and they were $12.99 for five or six carrots I think maybe six carrots but I'm like no I can't no <laughs> As much as I love the way they look, it's extremely difficult to me. And I'm t I tell you guys, you know that I have issues, but it's extremely difficult for me to lay out money like that when it could go towards so many other things. Like my dad used to say that about eating out at restaurants. My father's fa family owned a restaurant when he was growing up and he knows the value of food and what it costs to make. Like he used to call soup the money maker because it was so inexpensive to make soup it still is so inexpensive to make soup, yet people pay a dollar a bowl or a dollar a cup or whatever it was at the time. And, you know, you could make a pot of soup for pennies because it's mostly water from the tap and then the ingredients that are leftovers most of the time. Um, so, anyhow, um, it was very hard for him to go out to eat because he would look at how much a steak cost for, you know, Seventeen ninety nine for a steak, and say I could feed my whole family steak for seventeen ninety nine. So that was his mentality towards it. Kind of have that same mentality towards crafting. I just can't bring myself to pay something. And 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 here's here's the rub. It was at TJ Maxx. So you know TJ Maxx has sort of like overstocked leftover stuff from other stores. That means if it was seven ninety nine at TJ Maxx, it was probably a way lot more money than wherever they originally were selling it. But anyhow, I can't bring myself to, for $7.99, I can make 20 carrots. Anyway. Um, so sometimes my inspiration comes from that. Sometimes my inspiration just comes from my brain. So I have these cute mason jars. They are Kerr. 
I bought a case of them for $5 on Black Friday two years ago, last year, 2017 maybe. Um, I think that was 2017, and I got 12 of them for $5, so you guys know that they sell them for a dollar each at the Dollar Tree, so um, I definitely got my money's worth, um, so always look out for deals like that, um, but I have them, and I was like, oh, I know what I want to do with them. There's a couple of different mason jar ideas, um, there's a couple of different, there's tens of thousands of mason jar <laughs> ideas on the on the internet or on Pinterest, and I was inspired by them. So I don't want to, There, I didn't find anything that's exactly what I wanted to do, but I did find things that inspired me. So I have these coming up. Um, I'm going to do a set for St. Patrick's Day, and I'm going to do a set for spring or Easter, um, but they're going to be... Um, they're not really for Easter. They're spring. Um, you can use them for Easter, but they're for spring. And I'll have that coming up on the channel. But here's the thing. So I have the idea in my head. I was inspired. I know exactly what I want to do. I know that the materials to do it are right there. I know that um, all I have to do is actually do it. But there is a disconnect. And here's the thing. This isn't for everybody, this is for me. This is Jerry Ann Henson, this is how I work. I am so sorry to include you in my life, no I'm not. <laughs> but my brain, this one, either works in organization mode or in creative mode. I'm either cleaning or I'm crafting. And never the twain shall meet. <laughs> and often my brain is nowhere near either one of them. So it's not like just a 50-50, I'm either creating or crafting. Sometimes I'm like nowhere in the vicinity of either. That's today. <laughs> so I know that I have things I've got to do because it's this YouTube channel, these tutorials is my job. So I know that I have to put on my shoes and go do my job. I don't have to put my shoes on, but you understand what I'm saying. But when I had jobs that were outside of the home, and you guys who work outside of the home or work inside of the home or wherever you work, work, you know that there's just days where you're just not into it. And then sometimes you have to like fake it till you make it to like, you know, maybe till lunchtime and then you'll get that rev and then all of a sudden it's like, yes, the creative juices are flowing or the, the, the work that you need to get done just really gets done very productively and you're like very quick to thinking and... And then there's just days where you're like, you float through the whole day and you're like, I just did the bare minimal of what I needed to get by and I don't even know how I got my shoes on this morning. Well, that's today. There's nothing wrong in my life. I actually vlogged last night that I had the most beautiful Valentine's Day with Jim. Um, but today, I don't know if it's the weather or if it's just a mental block. Um, but I came into this craft room three times today. This is the third time that I've come into this craft room. Because I have a personal thing with myself that three times, I will give you the, like, I'll give you the shirt off my back three times, but the fourth time you won't get it. I will give you, like, everybody's got three chances, myself included. I don't know why I do that to myself, but I do, and it's always worked for me before. But this is the third time I came in here, hopefully, hoping that inspiration would blossom each and every time that I came in and the first time I came in I started to organize that stuff and the second time I came in I started to organize this stuff and now I've come in this third time and I'm like I'm organizing this stuff so I may not craft today at all today may just be a cleaning day but I'm not even really doing it like all I did was move stuff you know there's a there's a there's an organizing rule called touch it once you know touch it once you take care of it if you pick it up put it away where it belongs but today was not that day Today just wasn't that day. Today was the day where I consolidate bags and I throw them over there. You know, the Valentine's Day stuff, I'm trying to put the Valentine's Day stuff away because Valentine's crafting is over. So I had to clean up all the Valentine's Day stuff and I threw it over there by this Valentine's box. Instead of getting up and actually putting it away, I just threw it over there. I know I have sewing to do, so there's all the sewing stuff here. I have St. Patrick's Day to do, so there's all the St. Patrick's Day stuff here. I have all of these Easter flowers because it's, it's springtime is coming and I know that I'm going to be doing some DIYs. What the 
that's it. Um, I wish, I wish I could say I had it all together all the time. <laughs> um, but I don't. I have bad days just like everybody else. My brain is foggy and um, sometimes my brain is great and sharp and my body doesn't want to cooperate. Today is not that day. Today is that my brain cannot focus on what it needs to focus on. I There is terrible weather out and Jimmy had to work, so I'm not really 100% sure that I'm not just focused on him getting home safely, if that makes any sense. I, um, I, he texted me to freeze ice and bottles in case the power goes out. So I don't know if my brain is on that exactly, but my brain is not focusing on the craft aspect of the, of the, of the job today. Um, which is disappointing because I really have, just like I did at Valentine's Day, I have a lot that I want to share with you. And it's just a matter of actually getting it done. And then some DIYs, you know, there are 15, 20 minute videos. The project will take me three days. Um, so there's some things that even if I wasn't planning on putting it up tonight, I still have to get it started. So, you know. And then one of the projects included spray paint, but it's 21 degrees out. And I can't spray paint in 21 degrees. <laughs> they tell you to not have it be below, be below 41 degrees. Um, but anyway, so yeah, yep. Then there's that craft that I have in my mind that I have created for myself. So there's no instructions out there. Um, it's something that I came up with my own brain. And now that is, uh, this is the planning of it. So I think I know how it will work from my experience using the different, different mediums, doing the different, um, techniques, but I'm not a hundred percent sure that it will. So sometimes getting it started, especially when it's such, the processes are so long, like the thing that I want to do, one of the things that the first step I want to do to these takes like six hours with drying time. Then the second step takes like four hours with drying time. But I'm not sure that it's going to work. So I don't want to invest the six hours to do the four hour, do you know what I mean? Does that make sense, guys? I hope that makes sense to you. Um, but, um, and then to, to only do a craft that only, you know, not everybody celebrates St. Patrick's Day. But then again, I realized that even if I teach one person something, and if not, I realize that I'm doing it for myself anyway, so <laughs> I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> feel like a little kid come on come on do you guys know all right how are you all doing good good I'm sorry to hear that well I'm glad that's happening better for you then thank you oh. kids right yeah yeah I know uh <laughs> You guys are so sweet. I have made, I, well, like I've personally con, per, I've made personal contact with really with anybody who's reached out to me. Um, but some of you have reached out multiple times, and we've created friendships here, and it's it's been wonderful because for s the last two years, I've just been the only one talking. <laughs> and my friends will normally tell you that I'm an extremely good listener. And um, I feel like that's my gift. And it's really hard when you're on the channel to um, be a good listener because I can't hear anything you're saying. <laughs> Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to you. I have so many things in my brain. And then the other place to get inspiration is a lot of times you'll watch somebody on YouTube do something and you're like, my, in my instantaneous thought without judgment, of course, is just like... <gasps> I could do that so much easier or I could teach that so much better or, and I don't mean better. Better is subjective. Um, you know, just for me be like, Oh, I, she could cut out like five steps if she just does this or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. And then sometimes I'm like, how do you see that? Like whenever I watch 
uh, Melissa Four Quarter Crafts. I was like, who sees that, Melissa? <laughs> you are amazing. Because, <laughs> you know, like that. Um, but anyhow, I digress. I'm all over the place. Forgive me. Well, I did just want to pop on here and say thank you for understanding. Um, I'm curious about how everybody else's creative process is. Do you ever get stumped? Is that why you watch YouTube? Some people might watch tutorials on YouTube to get inspirational. Like that boost that you need, you know? Um, I know I do on a regular basis or by average do more DIYs than other YouTubers who do like two or three a week. Um, but every once in a while I have to like take a couple of days, let my brain and um, yeah, and that. <laughs> Thanks guys, I really appreciate the love. Um, I would say if you have any questions about this crazy conversation, please leave them in the comments section about below. But really, I would love to hear from you guys and how you overcome your creative slumps. Do you just watch other YouTubers? Do you jump on Pinterest? Do you open up craft books? Do you go to the library? Do you just go away from crafting altogether? Um, but please give this video a thumbs up because I need it. <laughs> Let me know that you have been here before by giving this video a thumbs up. As a matter of fact, if you've never been here before, don't even thumbs up. Just, just, just thumbs up if you've been here before and I can appreciate the camaraderie. Um, that's one of the things about... I always talk about my, my terrible health too, is that I, I appreciate the camaraderie and the sense of sympathy that you can get from somebody who's only been there, but you hate that sense of camaraderie and that feeling that somebody else has gone through what you've gone through, because it sucks. It sucks for you and it sucks for them. But as always, you guys take care, God bless, and we'll see you next time.